Yes. So this is the letter. This is actually a medicine letter. Medicine. Fine. So just to go through this for two minutes. Okay, this is the first part. Second page. Yeah.
Iya. Yes, this is the writing task. <clears throat> okay so here right now let us see some standard we will not bother about writing the letter we'll bother about quality sentences today quality sentences i'm not counting on number I'm not inviting too many people. I'm inviting few who are really serious. Not everyone will come and join. Those who are really serious, those who are really dedicated only can attend these classes today because I'm giving three letters, three letters. So writing workshop, we're going to have three letters. So action plan for three letters that's it okay so we are going to have the best things out of this session today yeah so writing three letters So the first of it, first of them is James Seymour. James Seymour. Okay, now let us see how we are going with this. So this is the letter. Okay. So now first we'll have the steps okay this is our breakfast so breakfast lunch and dinner three things lunch breakfast lunch and supper breakfast so this is the first letter and this is the breakfast so three letters we have then so this is uh, a uh, medicine letter. So now let us see how it goes. So James Seymour. Mr. Mr. James Seymour. And this is a medicine letter. Okay. 
मिस्टर जेम्स सेमोर ओके राइट दिस इज राइटिंग टास्क एंड दिस इज फॉर मेडिसिन ओके देन and the name of the the case is gout so this is the point all right okay so mr james assumed so we have seven different things number one so what do we call as uh, the organization the letter format the letter format okay what do we have in the letter format let us see number 1 the address number 2 the date number 3 the salutation number 4 the subject line number 5 the body number 6 the closing line or the the farewell the closing remarks and the uh, sender's particulars so these are the seven points that we are going to okay fine these are the seven things right today we are going having going to have action packed okay activity session sessions to say action packed activity sessions so right we are going to do lot of activities so just to follow it up and don't miss the sessions at any cost so these are the seven points now let us see one by one okay one by one number one okay the action okay uh there sir don't we write date before address okay then we that's a very wonderful question darpan what are you a doctor or a nurse are you a doctor or a nurse just i want to uh, yeah so you are a nurse okay then i'll give you if you are a doctor then i will not give you but because you are a nurse definitely i'll give you so now i want you to go to the mother now mother now who is this mother mother is here okay right uh, official oet website this is the mother okay so here writing task there are five writing tasks samples we'll take first writing task only writing task 1 okay um nursing Oh, now let us see first sample writing task you can take second third fourth fifth anything so your question is genuine but uh, the answer should also be genuine i cannot give blindly say no 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 this no 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 that i don't want to let the mother tell you so nursing otherwise if you have doubts still then you can go and check uh, the siblings of this letter what are the siblings test number 2 test number 3 test number 4 test number 5 all our siblings okay so nursing test number 1 so now let us see here so okay now here is writing task 1 okay let us suppose here writing task 1 okay if we take this one show in folder yeah here is writing task one just to we have downloaded now so now mother is going to show you what is right i am i am just a teacher i don't know much so this is official oet letter sample 1 this is official oet letter sample 1 now you see this is letter lionel ramamurthy okay lionel ramamurthy and this letter you see what is right and what is first and what is second so i think this will this is enough for you this is enough for you 
I don't think uh, you need anything else. So, Mr. Darpan, Darpan, unmute. Yeah, Darpan, is that clear for you? Yeah, yes, sir, I got it. So, that's it. So, I don't teach anything. Okay, I'm just a teacher. I just give the information to you what is uh, right according to official OET. Yeah, you can write that date first, no problem. That is your wish. But what official OET is telling, follow that. Because we are children, we'll follow the mother. So follow the mother, you'll be safe. You'll be, oh, okay, this is number one. If you still have doubt, what you can do is you can just go to the sibling. Okay. So here it is. <coughs> so this is, here you have, you can go to sample tests. You can take one, two, three, any one number you take here. Sample tests are there here. So writing, writing test one, writing test two, writing test three, writing test four, writing test five. Random, anything you take. I'll give you a second only. I'll take five, fifth one, whatever it is. That's no problem. Okay, this is test two. Nursing test two. Sample test two. There you can see here. So what is first and what is next you can see here. Okay, this is double, double clear now for you. So which is first? Is the date first or address first that you have to decide on your own? Yeah. You have to decide on your own. Yeah. Clarity. Clarity is more important. Confirmation is more important. You cannot just have a blind idea. Okay, blind faith, no way. Logical reason should go along with that. Okay, now I'm closing the internet. Uh, sorry, that's this one. Okay, now that's very clear. Right, now, <coughs> so having gone through this one, now let us see, James Seymour. So first thing is here. The first thing is the address. Number one is the address. Okay, now let us see the address. Right. Yeah, address. Okay. Now, if we are going to write the address, how are we going to write? There are five things. Okay, here, what are there? You just see here. Dr. Malcolm Still. Okay, this is the address. You can take the address from here. Dr. Malcolm Still, rheumatologist, 5 Grant Street, Fairmont. So, four lines. Dr. Malcolm Still, rheumatologist, 5 Grant Street, Fairmont. So, now let us take this one here. So, we'll take here first. Dr. Malcolm still next one rheumatologist then five grant every word should be capital letter street then fairmont fairmont not mount be careful some people write it as fairmont so this is the address this is the address. Okay, let us take this one. I'm not going to give you time. I'm not going to make you participate. Just to follow how I am doing. That's enough for you. So here, this is the address. Yeah, this is the address. Okay, that's the address, four line address, four line address. So simple as that one. Many people miss one point or two points there and here. So we are not supposed to miss that. One. That's very clear. So next one is number two. 
So number two, um, set numbering value at two. Okay, that is number two. Number two is the date. Now date from where we'll take. Today we should have perfect idea about how to write a letter. These three letters will give us perfect idea. The date is here. So 3-5-2014. Okay. 3-5-2014. This is the date. This is the date. Okay. And uh, yeah. These are visits. General practice. Okay. Visit treatment record. And this is, yeah, uh, fine. 3-5-2014. 3-5-2014. Fine. 2-4-2014. 3-5-2014. Okay. So this is the last date, okay. So you are referring after this one, on this date, you are referring to a rheumatologist. That's it. So the date, right. Okay. okay, 3 May 2014. So this is not a problem. May 2014. So what you are supposed to do is this one should be in number. This one should be in word, not number. So always write in word. You can see that again in the official notes if you want the same thing which we have seen. Okay. You can see there, just now we have closed. Okay, you can see it is written in, you see official letter, how it is written. Like that only you write, no? February is written in words, not in number. February is written in words, not in number. Remember that. So like that, May, 3 May 2014. You can leave this as zero also, no problem. That's not compulsion. So this is number three, number two. Okay. Next. Number three. <coughs> Number three is the salutation. Salutation. Now, salutation will be taken from the first line. From this one, this is the one which you take a salutation, first line from the address. So take it and just post it. And second name only will be taken. So remove the first name. Okay. Then before this one, you write a dear Dr. Still and just put a comma. Dear Dr. Still and just put a comma. Okay. just to separate things for you. So this is, this other things are the subject. Dear Dr. Still, finished, okay. Dear Dr. Still is there, okay. Next to fourth one. So this is the subject. The subject line, the subject line, okay, the subject line, okay, let us see how we are going to write the subject line. So here you will say regarding R. The subject, dear Dr. Still. Okay. So regarding R E colon. So be very careful, no space here. Many people leave space this side. 
this side this is wrong see even computer is showing a wrong underlined so that's it regarding space regarding what's the name of the person what's the name of the person so this is closed the name of the person is here mr james seymour mr james seymour regarding mr james seymour be careful many people instead of mr they write miss says miss like that be careful so they don't even remember mr james seymour now here there are two options one is date of birth is given and the other one is age also given so when both the things are given which one should we take priority take date of birth as priority take the date of birth as priority 19 september 1953 so that's it date of birth d o b d o b capital letters colon okay 19 september 19 53 19 september 1953 so that's it so this is how you are going to write this this is how you are going to write here okay now this is so simple as that all right next one is the body of the letter next one is the body of the letter so set numbering value to 5 5 that is the body the body of the letter this we will see later so the body of the letter can be uh, yeah the five body paragraphs so we'll see we'll come back later here the five body paragraphs okay then next one is the sixth one sixth one okay sixth one is uh sixth one yeah sixth one is the closing remarks or the leave taking the closing remarks the closing today i want to give a finishing touch for this writing i don't want anybody to suffer so i am doing everything i am doing this task i am doing this task not you so don't miss these things okay so the closing remarks regarding mr james seymour date of birth 19 september 1953 fine so closing remarks will be now how this changes yours yours now here in salutation you have the name of the doctor and here also you have the name of the doctor dr malcolm still not just a rheumatologist if rheumatologist is there then you have to say yours faithfully but name is there dr malcolm still so it is a personal name personal name okay it is a proper noun so if proper noun is there you have to use yours sincerely if common noun is there rheumatologist is a common noun means many rheumatologist may be there but uh, jm uh, jm uh, malcolm still is only one person but uh, J, um, rheumatologist may be thousands so that is called common name professional name if it is professional name to simplify professional name you have to use yours faith uh, faithfully and personal name you have to use yours sincerely so write yours sincerely and put a comma here okay the next one the seventh one seventh one seventh one is the sender's particulars senders these are called labels which i am giving you yellow line or labels yellow line or labels so here senders particulars now where from you will get these senders particulars you will get the senders particulars from here okay here it is not given senders particulars are not given this is a general practice so your general practice so general practitioner 
you can write general practitioner okay mm, if you are a nurse write nurse whatever it is so using the information given in the guest notes write a letter to the okay so nothing else is there so you have given this provisional diagnosis so you are a doctor here okay you are a doctor here and you are giving provisional if you are a nurse and you can say uh, nurse write nurse and the doctor gave the provisional uh, diagnosis and you are writing as a nurse so presenting the, uh, in your general so presenting it is a presenting it's a visit not admission remember that who presented with who presented with okay uh, right like that you can say presenting in your general practice with swollen left large toe okay so general practice so what you have to write is uh, you are sincerely finished general practitioner or doctor both are okay general so this is not just a doctor he is a general practitioner means he is doing on his own he has a practice on his own on his name okay he is entirely responsible for that so it is uh, you can say general practitioner many people don't know the spelling of practitioner they will say practice practitioner practitioner they like this they will do practitioner many people don't know okay uh, the correct spelling i have seen many places i have shown also so here you can leave two lines after you are sincerely leave two lines leave two lines after you are sincerely leave two lines that's it leave two lines after sincerely <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Mary. Yeah, good morning. Actually, I'm I'm in a session now. I'll get back to you. I'm in a live session. I'll get back to you. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, you're sincerely two lines you have to leave here. One and two. Two lines you have to leave. So that's it. And then you can write the sender's particulars. So done with this. Hmm. yeah so that is senders particulars that's fine we finished with all these things now okay now we are going for the body of the letter okay right cecilia garpan kausar jabin and mira manoj okay yeah the session is live streaming okay now coming to the point now we are going for the letter so what we are not going to find many other things we'll just try to um, make some uh, paragraphs okay now we are going to body paragraph now here this body paragraph five body paragraphs are there so five body paragraphs means we'll write like uh, 5.1 okay so here 5.1 5a or we can say yeah we'll take like this no better to no uh, this is this would be fine okay first i don't think it will get uh, clarity so this only is better five point okay uh, a b c d e yeah, let us take 5.1 Roman letters, small letters, 5.1 or even we can take capital letters, no problem, 5.1, right, 5.1. So we can label it as a set numbering value as 5.1. Okay, right. Now, this is the introduction. Next to number two is the, uh, the fundamental, uh, the fundamental or the main concerns, main concerns. The next one is the secondary concerns. And the last one is 
the other information like histories, personal history, social history, medical history, and other things. Okay, uh, employment history, whatever are the histories you can say. Okay. Okay, like that you can say. Then if it is a discharge letter, it will change. This is not a discharge letter. So, so we can take like this, supposing. And the fifth one is the conclusion. So this one, you can write two sentences, two sent, uh, one sentence only. Actually, there are three sentences in one, three in one. So okay, you have three sentences, three points you have to write and on one sentence. That is one, three sentences or two sentences or one sentence. If you write three sentences, maybe you'll get a, a B. If you write a two sentences, you'll get B plus. If you write one sentence, you'll get A. Okay, it doesn't mean this sentence I'm talking, not entire letter. So the quality I'm telling you. So three in sentences in one, you have to take three different sentences. This is complex sentence, three sentences in. So co one complex or compound sentence, complex or compound sentence. Okay, one mega sentence, three sentences, three simple sentence, three ordinary sentence, sentences or one mega sentence. Okay. Now that is fine. Then here also, you can write, okay, two sentences. Okay, ordinary. Okay, two sentences, ordinary you can write. And these you cannot join because that is, the style itself is like that. So here you can write two sentences, right? And here, this is the most important problem you have to write here. And this is the secondary concerns you can write or management. Okay, or if it is a uh, admission, admission, post admission, prior to admission, post admission, and post to discharge like that. Organization will see this letter. We'll see now. So these are the five areas that we can write. So now let us take here. So this is uh, A S D F. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, wantedly I'm doing so, to, so as to separate things. We are going to write paragraphs there only. So, right, so five paragraphs, five paragraphs, right. Now here, introduction, what you have to write in the introduction, let us see what you are going to write in the introduction. So these are the paragraphs. We'll take this color. To, so as to separate and, uh, okay, differentiate from the, okay, labels and the content. These are the labels. The colored ones are the labels and this is going to be the content, okay. Right, now here, Right, content. Number one. So what are you going to write about here? First one, you have to write the name of the person. What is the name of the person? Name of the person is here. So take this. Name of the person is here. You can write in your notebooks also. You're going to write about Mr. James Seymour. Okay, so his name is here. You need not write full name here because already you wrote in the subject. So, Mr. James Seymour. So, already you know this one. This is number one. Okay. This is number one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So name is a James Seymour. Number B. So um, next one, what you have to write here. Okay. Is it present? Presenting. You can see here. Okay. 
he is a 60 year old man presenting who is presenting okay with a swollen left large teeth so what is this type of is it admission there are seven different things i told you so this is presenting so the stage the stage stage what stage presenting stage presenting presenting stage fine so the stage is presenting or visiting presenting attending admit admission okay diagnosis stage okay provisional diagnosis stage diagnosis stage recuperation stage uh, discharge stage so what are the stages so it's a presenting stage okay so you can take like that but this may change afterwards as you go uh, along the uh, case this may change you can see how it is changing here he told who is presenting here okay with a swollen large tooth then this is going on transforming here you see here mm, yeah so now here how it is changing you can see here so encourage to comply with gout needs gout has come here already okay um record you can see here gout management okay then here provisional diagnosis stage now he is in provisional diagnosis stage you can see this stage has developed from visit to provisional diagnosis so who was provisionally diagnosed with okay so that is it so here it's not presenting stage anymore he is presenting but still in a deeper sense it has improved to provisional diagnosis stage provisional diagnosis stage so if you write presented with maybe its quality is low so that has stage has in, uh, so gradually it has gone up and now he is provisionally diagnosed with so now now what is the case next one is case case is what gout you know that one now now provisionally diagnosed with gout that's it mr james seymour who was provi who was provisionally or who has been provisionally diagnosed latest now it is happening now you are writing last day okay who has been provisionally diagnosed with provisional diagnosis stage now after 3 so on 3rd so provisionally diagnosed so same day you are writing the letter so you can write present perfect tense who has been provisionally diagnosed with gout what is the case gout so this are the three order three things order right now you have to write the purpose next is the purpose now what is the purpose here why you are writing this letter write a letter to dr malcolm still rheumatologist at 5 grand street fairmont for purpose means for what purpose means for what for means purpose you know that now for means purpose for number 1 is for the treatment or investigations okay these are the two things so purpose is uh, for the treatment okay or investigations so this which one comes first treatment comes first or investigation comes first so investigation should come first so alter the situation he has given to for you to confuse but investigation then only treatment already you have been treating already you have been uh, provisional diag uh, although you have diagnosed uh, provisionally so signs and symptoms based on that one but you are not sure so you are sending this uh, to this person so he has to uh, further a uh, definitive diagnosis a further investigation a further assessment appropriate assessment and um, follow up management for the treatment or further management a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management instead of treatment don't use the same words change the words okay provisional diagnosis is already there okay who was provisionally diagnosed with so you change that one to signs and symptoms change that one to who signs and symptoms are 
uh, consistent with. So you have to change this one. These are the original words. Don't use these original words. They are danger. They are danger. Okay. They are danger to you. So don't use the same things for further treatment and investigation. Don't use these words. They are danger. They will cut your marks. They will cut your marks. Then how are you supposed to do here? So, uh, Mr. James Seymour, who, whose <coughs> signs and symptoms are consistent with. So, signs and symptoms means provisionally diagnosed. If you write provisional diagnosis, same word you are using. So, indirectly tell him that there are signs and symptoms and you have provisionally diagnosed. That is the meaning. Whose signs and symptoms are consistent with? Or who has signs and symptoms consistent with? Anyway, you can write. Or you can say, who has signs and symptoms consistent with? So, both are fine. Gout. Mr. James Seymour, comma, Mr. James Seymour, comma, whose signs and symptoms are consistent with gout, comma. So that's it. So simple as it is. Okay. Or Mr. James Seymour, who has signs and symptoms consistent with gout, comma. Now you are writing second part is the purpose letter. So three things. You are introducing the person, then you are introducing the purpose, and you are introducing the state. Okay. Now, he is being. So you are sending him there. Now let us see here. Requires purpose. Write down here purpose. Got. Yeah. <coughs> so requires requires what further treatment and investigation investigation comes first already you investigated and you could not come out so further investigation should be there okay uh, a def requires a definitive diagnosis okay and uh, further management or appropriate management. Appropriate management. Finished. So like this you have to write. So, <coughs> Mr. James Seymour. So this is green. Mr. James Seymour, whose signs and symptoms are consistent with Or who has signs and symptoms consistent with? And then gout, comma, requires a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management. Okay, next one. Next one is, you see, uh, so you are writing a referral letter, remember that. So, for means, for means uh, purpose. And who requires also means purpose. So you need not, when it is a referral, so what type of letter is this? Type of letter, type of presentation, type of letter. Type of letter, this is a referral. Referral letter. So remember that. So because this is a referral letter, then you have to write, is being referred. Is being referred. Okay. Is being referred. So now what you are doing is this is being referred you are using. Okay. Is being referred and remove requires. Remove requires. So you are putting this requires. If referral is not there, you can write requires here. But referral is already there. So is being referred. Is being referred. First, a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management. So, is being referred is coming here. Okay. Is being referred. Okay. All right. Is being referred for a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management. 
Okay. Right. So this is how you are going to write. Uh, following the discharge or following the transfer or whatever it is. If it is there, you write, otherwise leave it. Okay. How to present this sentence is very important. This is very important. You are writing three points here. Okay. Um, fine. Is being referred for a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management. Okay, at your facility or something, whatever you want, at your service. Okay, now let us see. So, refer to a rheumatologist on patient's insistence. So, on personal request. Okay, with a copy of pathology results. So, because patient is requesting. Okay. On personal request, on personal request. So patient's request, on personal request. Who's person? Person is patient only here. Okay. So that's it. Is being referred for a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management. Right. So this is the way how you can write the introduction. So now we'll move forward. Introduction. Clear. Yeah. Introduction. So, yes or no? If you have any doubts, you can ask me because we are going to the next part. Yeah. There are only four students, so I need not wait too much. So, just 10 seconds. If it is clear, write yes. If it is not clear, any doubts, you can ask me straight away. Yeah. One, two. Fast, please. Fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, two people. Very good. So, we are moving. Now, uh, yeah, third one done. Yeah. So, this is how you are going to write the introduction. Then, let us leave fundamental concerns. Now, we'll go to the conclusion now. Conclusion should be similar to the introduction. Okay. Conclusion should be similar to the introduction. You can start like this. Based on the aforementioned circumstances. Based on the aforementioned circumstances, the same thing should be repeated, but in a different style. Okay. Stress. In the introduction, we are reminding him to bother about this introduction, definitive diagnosis and appropriate management. Based on the aforementioned circumstances, um, okay. Um, further assessment, don't take the same word. Okay. What is that? Further treatment and investigation. Investigation is already there. So we should not use here. Okay. Definitive diagnosis we used here. And then here we are using assessment. Don't use assessment investigation anywhere. Sorry. Uh, the words uh, treatment and investigation anywhere. Change the words and write. That's it. Uh, based on the aforementioned circumstances, further assessment and uh, follow-up action plan or necessary treatment. Necessary treatment. So treatment is already there here. Necessary uh, management. Appropriate management, we already have written here. Okay. Uh, further assessment and necessary follow up measures. Follow up measures or action plan uh, would be profoundly beneficial uh, for. Um, Mr. James, Mr. Seymour, Mr. Seymour, okay, so that's how you will write, full stop, based on the aforementioned circumstances, further assessment and necessary follow-up measures, okay, would be profoundly beneficial what Mr. Seymour, like that, in case, any additional information 
these sentences will be standard if any information additional information is required please do not hesitate to contact me full stop okay in case any additional information is required please do not hesitate to contact me these are the normal sentences same things you write in the conclusion every time don't write uh, in case any additional information is required please do that one into a separate paragraph and this above one into separate so always write in this style that is always better so this is the conclusion so conclusion cleared so it is a, a reinforcement of the introduction conclusion is nothing but reinforcement of introduction conclusion is nothing but the reinforcement or strengthening of the introduction reinforcement of the introduction so you have to revise in a different style so that's it many people don't know that this has to be reinforced so stress the importance that this is very important what is very important purpose is very important and you have to reinforce it in a different setting that's how you are going to paste okay so uh, conclusion clear so conclusion clear yes or no come on fast fast <coughs> So one, two, three. Who is this written? No, no. Oh, Simon sir. Okay, Simon sir doesn't know anything. What to do? He wants to go to mother and father. Ah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Three people said yes. Okay, fine. Right. So closing remarks. That's done. And uh, now. Everything is done. Only the three main body paragraphs are there. Now, let us see. Before going, let us see any official letter. Any official letter. So, now let us go to our official letter, same which we have seen. Uh, somebody told me every time you take the Mr. Lionel Ramamurthy, is he your uncle or what? Yeah. Um, so, fine. Mr. Lionel Ramamurthy. Okay. So, here in the official letter, you see. Mr. is missing. Okay. Mr. is missing. So we have to be very clear. Okay. Right. Now let us see how many paragraphs are there here. This is the introduction. Okay. And uh, this is the conclusion, suppose. The last paragraph is the conclusion. Okay. So now you can see here paragraph number one on admission this is on admission so that is one color then this is during hospitalization okay so that is two second color and this is okay after a discharge after a discharge discharge plan so see how it is constructed so first, this is on admission. That means the conditions before admission. This is during hospital. And this is after a discharge. Paracetamol may be administered, should be kept to warm, encourage oral fluids, discharge plan. So before admission, before hospital, during hospital, and after hospital. Before, during, and after. Three paragraphs. I think you can understand how the paragraph is divided. So you can see that. So this is before admission. On admission means before admission, his condition. This is after a week in the hospital. That means during hospital. This is hospital stage. Okay. This is hospital stage. This is before hospital stage. This is after hospital stage. This is before admission. This is during admission. This is after discharge. This is during hospital, before hospital, and after hospital. So this is how paragraph, paragraph should be divided. Okay. Now let us see here. I am giving you a sample letter here. Okay. Now, in view of the above, see here, the same thing. I am referring Mr. Seymour for further investigations and treatment. Please note a copy of his test results have been 
has been attached for your convenience. For any queries, please do not hesitate to contact. This is the conclusion. Same, same conclusion. And this is the introduction. Thank you for seeing Mr. Simon, a 60 year old retired academic whose features are consistent with gout. Your further assessment would be highly appreciated. So this is the introduction. Now, how many paragraphs are left to see there? So this is number one. <coughs> so you can see this is paragraph number one. <coughs> then this is paragraph number two. Okay. And this is paragraph number three, two days visit. <coughs> so three paragraphs. So these are the three body paragraphs. This is the conclusion, you know, and this is the introduction, you know. So three body paragraphs. You can see there. Now five paragraphs only. So five paragraphs. One introduction, last conclusion, same color I have given. First paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph. This is a rough paragraph written by somebody, not authentic letter. This is somebody, some doctor has written just like that one, sir. But uh, this is not authentic letter. Don't rely on this standard because the, anybody can put anything in the internet. So how it should be, okay? How it should be. This personal history is coming here. So this personal history is coming here. So now what you have to write, first you have to write the general condition of, Okay, the general situation, the general problem. Okay, which is, so this is not an urgent letter. So today's visit will not come. So what is his history? Everything you have to write. Okay, everything you have to write here. Okay. <coughs> so a four week history of an attack of gout. See here. With a four week history of an attack. Actually, it is not confirmed that it is a history of gout. Okay. Right. It's. It's not a gout, attack of gout. How can you confirm? It's only provisional diagnosis. So this is, don't rely on this one, 100%. Okay, anybody can write anything. So you have to know gout, now only you provisionally diagnosed. Okay, now here attack of gout means confirm. How can you confirm? Okay, when you are his provisional, provisional diagnosis. Okay, so you can see here. Uh, for further investigation and treatment. And here you can see, he has been suffering from recurrent, recurrent attacks of gout. How can you say recurrent attacks of gout? Actually, this is not clear, you can see here. Because in the case notes, it is telling what you see here. This is the question mark here. Provisional diagnosis, provisional diagnosis. Try to understand this. Provisional diagnosis, not a definitive diagnosis. It's not diagnosis. Provisional, so initial diagnosis, crude, not real, not confirmed, unconfirmed. He has doubt, not sure. So that's it. Provisional diagnosis. Oh, okay. <coughs> Provisional diagnosis. So remember that. So. Uh, where else it is given? Yeah. So here, see here, provisional. Question mark is there. Question mark is there. Okay. This is the question mark. Remember here. Gout. First two. Question mark means doubtful. Okay. Inflammation is there. So don't write gout, confirm it. Okay. He consulted several doctors. Okay. Possibility of gout is there here. It's not confirmed. So how can you write that uh, recurrent attacks of gout? It's a regular episodes of inflammation. So th th this doctor has presented wrongly there. Okay. Inflammation is there. The gout is only not confirmed. So you cannot write it like, like that one. Okay. Possibility is there. So now this is still provisional diagnosis stage only. It's not diagnosed stage. Okay. Right. <clears throat> now let us see. Be very careful when you are writing all these things. Right. Uh, that's the point. So you write about uh, the uh, present uh, secondary things. Present. Okay. Write the see here. 
the treatment what was the treatment given for the previous times and now what is the condition okay this is the present one today's visit and previous visits this is treatment record okay now here you can see social history allergies medication and this is treatment record treatment record one 25 4 so 2014 25 4 2014 and this is uh, 3 5 2014 you can see the time duration okay four weeks okay four weeks history okay into current bout of gout okay so check all these things based on that one you can write then next one Pres this write in the second paragraph so present okay stage and this one you can write in the uh, first paragraph main body paragraph this is main number one paragraph body paragraph number one okay um, okay this you can write body paragraph number one main body paragraph one main body paragraph one and here is main body paragraph two okay and write the other histories in paragraph three write the other histories in body paragraph three so main body paragraph three case is more important okay write case first huh? case notes this is but not personal notes it's case notes so this is the way how you have to write okay now coming to the point i will show you how to improve the sentences ordinary sentences are there everywhere how to improve the sentences we can see right now let us take this okay <coughs> Uh, some sentences we'll see how to write these sentences. Okay. Now, gout. Possible gout. And this is one sentence. So now we are going to learn sentences. So, provisional diagnosis, gout. Provisional diagnosis based on signs and symptoms. Okay. So, how to write this one? Provisional diagnosis and gout. Let us take this one. So now sentences, learning sentences. So sentence construction. Now letter is over. Sentence constructions. How to write sentences? We'll see. Sentence construction. Okay. This is the danger zone. This is the main problem for everyone. So yeah. Sentence construction. So sentence number one. Now let us see. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, number one, let us see what's this point here. The point of question is provisional diagnosis and gout. Provisional diagnosis. And this is gout. We know that. Provisional diagnosis is gout. Right. Now, you can write in many different ways. Now, write the sentences, please. Write the sentences, all of you. Write the sentences, all of you. Yeah. How do you want to write this sentence? This will go into the introduction. This will go into the introduction. So, you can say like this. Thank you for seeing Mr. Seymour, comma, uh, who's as uh, whose 
suggestive okay whose suggestive features are consistent with gout yeah thank you for seeing mr seema whose suggestive features are consistent with gout like this one or you can also say okay so this is one sentence then you can also say right um thank you for seeing mr seymour uh who has signs and symptoms suggestive of gout okay who has signs and symptoms <coughs> who has signs and symptoms suggestive of gout suggesting gout or like this one um who has signs and symptoms uh, consistent with gout okay you can write like this also many people will write many different things or you can also write like this thank you for seeing mr saymon whose signs and symptoms are suggestive of gout whose signs and symptoms suggest gout also so different different styles so let us take only two examples for this one thank you for seeing and you can also say directly okay <clears throat> like many people are writing how i am referring mr seymour so this is also right i am not telling it is wrong okay this is also right i am referring mr seymour okay who signs uh, who sug who suggestive features are consistent okay whose features are suggestive of gout like that so whose suggestive features are consistent with gout next one the same thing okay from here i am referring mr seymour okay then second part you can take this one again see i am referring mr seymour who has signs and symptoms consistent with gout finished but this is one sentence two sentences when you are writing so next this is one point now let us go for the second point okay yeah <coughs> okay second point second point is refer referral and uh, for what uh, referring for what um so we are referring for what for the treatment and investigation for the treatment and investigation okay this is second sentence this is second sentence okay how can you write this sentence uh okay <clears throat> but this sentence can be also written in passive voice these two sentences can also be written in passive voice so 
I am referring. Remove. I am referring. And start with Mr. Seymour. So there's Mr. Seymour, and you can say comma is being referred. Dot dot dot. Is being referred. Dot dot dot. So like that. Continuation will be there. Comma continuation. So you can write like this. This is the best sentence. Okay. If you write, okay, like this, you'll get more because it is passive voice. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> is being referred is passive voice. Um, right. Um, he is being referred for. Uh, a definitive diagnosis and further manage appropriate management. Or appropriate treatment. Right. He is being referred for a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management. So you can write, if you want to write two sentences, you can write like this. Okay. Uh, or you can say he requires a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management like that. So all different types of sentences you can write. So this is the way how you can write two sentences. Okay. Um, right, or uh, a definitive diagnosis, a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management, appropriate management would be, uh, would, uh, would be extremely beneficial. Like this also you can write, is required, is required, like this. Okay, he requires, is required, a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management are required, plural. A definitive diagnosis and appropriate management are required. So that is the way how you can modify. So take one sentence from the first one, take one sentence from here and you can write so how you are writing is more important. See, in this style, you see he, she, and it is not there. In this style, last one, he, she, and it are not there. But in these two, you can see he, he. And here also, thank you, thank you. I am, I am. Here, nothing is there. I, we, you, he, nothing is there in the last two sentences. So this is the reason why passive voice is preferred. These are the preferred styles. I'm not telling write like this. These are the most preferred styles. Okay, use these styles for better advantage. Okay, so I think you understand how to, there are many, these are only just a few, there are many other possibilities which you can use. Okay. Uh, or solicited, another one, a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management are solicited, are required. Instead of required, you can say solicited. What do you mean by solicited? Solicit. What is the meaning of solicited? Let us see. Go to father now. Now, who is this father? Cambridge Dictionary. Solicited. Solicited means expected. Okay. So, to ask someone for money, information, or help. So, solicited means asked for asking for help. Asking for help, solicited, okay, to ask for something in a persuasive and determined way. This is the perfect word, okay. This is the perfect word, ask for, okay. To ask for something, this is the appropriate meaning. Solicited is a very wonderful word, okay. To ask for something in a persuasive, what do you mean by persuasive? 
means with great request demand so he cannot say no like that in a debtor i want it means want it determination persuasion persuasion when you want somebody to do it you go on pleading requesting okay mm, like that one that is solicit okay persuasive the meaning of persuasive is here to make someone do or believe something by giving them a good reason to do it so this is a wonderful word you can use okay you can use this word in your writing okay you can use this and with determination the other word is determination you can see determination also is there so determined way determination you can see another word is wanting to do something very much and not allowing anyone or any difficulties to stop you we want means we want ultimate goal is anticipated okay or you can also use the word anticipated solicited yeah why not okay you can use the other words anticipated or anticipated means expectations are expected okay anticipated solicited this is english my dear this is english instead of required you can say anticipated solicited expected okay uh solicited anticipated expected you can use anything you want uh <coughs> so these are some words which you can use whichever the best this is english no it is not nonsense okay anticipated or anticipated means expected so now let us see what is this anticipated here can we use the word anticipated so or required means anticipated why not anticipate to imagine or expect that something will happen you are expecting that something will happen expected or required expected why not this one it is c1 word do you want 400 marks use this na use this okay i hope you understand not everyone will attend these sessions i am least bothered even then so those who are interested they are learning that's what i want so now we are learning words many people don't know what to write so we are now going to play with words so um uh, yeah so that's it so getting ideas getting vocabulary getting so rediscover sorry discovering vocabulary discovering vocabulary this is not the stage we are in now discovering vocabulary or rediscovering vocabulary you already know these words maybe and you are not using so converting passive vocabulary into transfer transformation 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 of passive vocabulary passive vocab into active vocabulary what is there at the back of your brain vocabulary passive vocabulary into active vocabulary you know these words but you are not using these words so we are going to learn these words and use these words a definitive diagnosis and appropriate management or anticipated or solicited there are many other words don't think these are the only words some other time i'll give you some other words we don't need to uh, mess up with too many words now okay so this is how you can develop your introduction into two paragraphs two sentences or write them into club them into one sentence your wish so this is diagnosis and this is type of letter okay so both the things are coming here you write in two sentences okay three sentences is a fail okay so two sentences is a pass b and then one sentence is a great but be careful when you are writing into one sentence it's a complex so compound mega sentence we can call it as so that's it so i think you can write this letter and you can submit i have given you some uh, styles how you can write how you can join okay so now we are going to have uh, simon sir is going to have breakfast okay and then he'll get back with uh, another letter so in the meantime you have 2 hours after 2 hours we'll have another one in the meantime i'll be correcting some letters so after 2 3 hours i'm going to take another letter and uh, maybe around 3 uh, o'clock or 4 o'clock i'll take another letter so how many of you are interested that will be a nursing letter okay if you are interested 
So just send me the name because I need not send directly personal message you will get. So 4 p.m. would be fine. 4 p.m. Those who want to attend the session, just type your name so that I will send a Cecilia. Yeah, right. 4 p.m. Yeah. So those who are interested can join 4 p.m. And at that time we'll be taking one nursing letter. Okay. Yeah. So Smita Kanta, Kausar Jabin, Cecilia, three candidates. What about the others? Neetu and Mira. Neetu and Mira. What about you? Neetu also is there. Fine. I'll be sending you the link personally. And you can write this letter and I'll correct this letter. Okay. After one hour, you have time, one hour time to write this letter. Okay. Yeah, one hour time to write the letter. The case notes is already there. I have sent to you in the groups. So you can take that and I will also send to you personally. And sample letter also is there. Okay. So you can take all these things. Okay. So we are leaving.